The local towing industry lost one of its own last night, but his impact isn't lost on those whose lives he touched. 55-year-old Timothy Williams was struck and killed during a service call on Highway 65 last night north of Springfield. Williams was a driver for affordable towing. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Crystal Blair. Now the details at this time are limited, but our Jesse Emmons spoke to one of Williams' fellow drivers who says he was much more than a co-worker. We just go three months. I just moved to the area. Uh, Timothy trained me at Affordable. In that three months that William Sipple has been a tow truck driver for Affordable Towing, he says that Timothy Williams made a big impression on him in a short time. He said, you know what, I don't do this for the money. He said, I do this to make a difference out here. And Timothy does do, make a difference at Freedom City Church, Northside Assembly and Affordable. There's a lot of sad people today. We have one deacon at Freedom City and Tim, Tim Williams was the deacon there. Sipple heard the news from his roommate last night, right after he got home from work. It just blew us away. We, it was hard to believe, you know. It's hard to believe that, um, but it seems like, uh, you know, the Lord takes the, the good ones. He was a heartbeat of the company in our church, and there's not a doubt about that. One of the first impressions that Sipple had of Timothy was one that Sipple had a hard time putting into words. You know, when uh, that first day I was training with him, he knew that I, it took a lot for me to move from Kansas City to here, and he, he gave me a hundred dollars. And I said, I, you don't even know me. He said, it, if you don't take this hundred dollars, you rob me of my blessing. I said, okay, Tim, I'll, uh, I'll take the hundred dollars. Going forward, Sipple hopes that people will use this as a reminder for just how dangerous their jobs can be. I think we just ask for people to respect us when we're out there on the road and, and uh, be a little more careful around us when we're, when we're doing our job that way that we can get it done safely. Now that was our Jesse Emin reporting. There are no charges filed for the 27 year old driver out of Buffalo who hit Williams and there's no word on whether or not that driver was under the influence.